Hi everyone, this is a video tutorial where we're going to construct uh, spirals, basic spiral structures as they appear in spiral galaxies as well as um, recessing jet-like structures. To begin we're going to generate a sphere. Click on the sphere primitive, drag it out in one of the viewports. And then we give it a sensible name. So let's start with the flat spiral and go to the modifier panel or yes, first delete the temperature modifier if you like, uh, which we don't need. And then we're going to add a size modifier, which allows us to squeeze the sphere into a cig thin cigar-like structure which is going to be the starting to start for our spiral. And then we're going to add a spiral modifier, which by default generates a C-like structure, which has uh, not a point symmetry as we expect, and it's not a spiral actually, but uh, a mirror symmetric C structure. This can be corrected by editing the properties panel of this modifier, the spiral modifier. We're going to change the equation there to an absolute x instead of just an x and this turns our c into an s structure or spiral structure and now modifying the coefficient of the x we can change the winding of the spiral As you may notice, the resolution of the mesh structure is not enough when this winding is very strong and the, it thins out very much. So we'll try to control this first. First, the resolution of the mesh structure. For that, we go to the uh, primitive tab and increase the number of segments of the mesh, which then turns it in a smoother spiral structure. As you can see, it thins out very much, and so we can try to do something about that, see how we can control the thickness of the, the spiral by adding a squeeze modifier where is it? there okay this is not what we want really but quite interesting how complex structures can be generated to improve this we're going to uh, change the position of the squeeze modifier to be evaluated before the spiral structure is done. And then modify, play around with the, with the settings of the squeeze modifier to get different thicknesses as a function of distance from the center. quite a bit control using the continuous curve tools that we have. Note that the Vertical thickness also changes when you use the squeeze modifier, so there might be 
better options for that using the squeeze and the combination of the size and uh, squish modifier to do this. But uh, it's a question of playing around with different things. And if you add, for example, a, an exponent to the x, you can change the structure of the spiral quite a bit. This is a bit crazy right now, but let's change the coefficient such that we get a different shape. As I said, it's a question of playing around with parameters to get a variety of potential, potentially interesting results, get a feel for what things do. Don't hesitate to add additional modifiers to change the thickness, the vertical thickness of the, of the spiral. Once you have what you want. Oh, this one immediately produces kind of like a, a barred spiral. Okay. Now that we have our sp flat spiral, let's try to produce a, a new spiral structure, but a jet-like structure that is ejected perpendicular to the previous pr plane. So let's call this um, processing jet or something like that. And again, add a size modifier to get our thin straight jet structure basically, which we are good then going to twist. To do that, we don't want to use the usual um, rotation modifiers or something. We What we need is move this cigar structure at some angle. So we have an inclination angle or, or a, a precession angle. And uh, without moving the coordinate system away from this axis. So we cannot use the usual rotation modifier, but need something that only changes the position of the vertices. And this is what we're going to do using the twist modifier which we are going to set to a fixed value instead of sine function, let's say 30 degrees or something. Now this does nothing if we do not change the direction of rotation using the widget Let's see, this is sometimes a bit question of playing around. Okay, this looks all right. Now we have a rotation around some other axis and this produces our 30 degrees that we needed. Now it's not rotating along the, around the axis of the object, the long axis, but rather around some secondary axis. Call this 90 degrees rotation. And this is not yet doing the twisting itself, just we just rotated our structure, which we're now going to twist with another twist modifier around the original Z axis. Open the properties again, and now we're going to use an angle as a fun not a fixed value for the angle, but a value that changes with position along the axis. This is already generating our not spiral structure, looks like one in the top, but actually it's a mirror symmetric C structure and only when we, um, well, we increase first the, the rotation, but now we have to twist it in such a way that uh, we have a point symmetric structure that we are going to do in a similar way as we had in the previous case by using the absolute value of x. 
and that turns it into a spiral. The orientation is not obvious. Let's add the flat spiral to see how they are oriented. Okay, they're in the same plane basically. So if we want to have one structure of these perpendicular to the other, we can just rotate them by 90 degrees using our twist modifier. Oh, well, let's first increase the number of rotations so it's clearer. The number of twisting. It's clearly in the same plane as the flat spiral. So we need to rotate one of them. Let's rotate the flat spiral. Let's try what we can do. The properties of this twist. Rotate this by another 90 degrees. No, that's not what we need. Okay, here we go. Now we have the jet and the spiral structure, the flat spiral, perpendicular to each other. Now you need to adjust your velocity structure in such a way that they conform to the symmetry and the properties of your, your object. That's it.